At Firehouse 1 in Decatur, Georgia, you may notice something different. The fire alarm room and there. In a field dominated by men, Tony Washington, Vera Morrison, and Nanetta Violante lead the only fire department in the country where the top three positions are held by women. I often get questions about, you know, three women working together. Woo! For years, they worked separately, each the only woman in their respective firehouse, on the line night after night, a tall order when even your clothes are working against you. I was often in hand-me-down clothes or, or hand-me-down gear that was like for a five foot ten to male. Be, right. Um, so you were doing all this in gear that was made for men. Yes. yes. That gear adds about 45 to 55 pounds to your body weight. Even heavier, the weight of being first. We represent every female firefighter that's out there. And theirs is not your typical fire station. Fully equipped with a relaxation pod, yoga classes, and a sense of camaraderie, they say, sets it apart. And the community is taking notice. Just take a recent career day visit. Chief Morrison said, can females be firefighters? And the one little girl raised her hand and she said, no, but they can be chiefs. I think more important is for them to just see that anything is possible. And as long as I'm here, we will continue to shatter the glass ceiling. Paving the way for generations to come. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Decatur, Georgia.